Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how to make a delicious pastel azteca. So if you're ready, let's get started. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with our ingredients. So for the recipe, we're going to need three pounds and a half of chicken breast, corn tortillas, eight chile poblanos, chile serranos or jalapeños, a handful of cilantro, four garlic cloves, two bay leaves, four ounces of cream cheese, your favorite melting cheese, one cup of crema mexicana, 15 ounces of sweet corn, one teaspoon of black pepper, chicken bouillon, and salt. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. Okay, we're going to begin by grabbing our pot, filling it up halfway with water, and allowing it to come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, we're going to add half of an onion, two garlic cloves, I just mash them down, our two bay leaves, salt, and our chicken breast. Okay, and we're just going to allow it to come to a boil again. And once it comes to a full boil, we're going to remove all of the foam from on top of our broth. Be careful with the garlic cloves, don't take them. And once we remove all of the impurities from our chicken, we're going to allow it to cook for 25 minutes. And while we wait, we're going to begin to roast all of our chiles. So allow them to get nice and charred. Ready? And once our chiles are all nice and roasted all around, we're going to remove them, place them in a Ziploc bag. Make sure you seal the bag. And I'm going to be using three jalapenos just for a little spice. Okay, so just make sure that you seal the bag. And we're going to be roasting one quarter of an onion. Ready? And once our onion has softened, we're going to remove it from the heat and just set it to the side until it's time to use it. Meanwhile, we're going to continue waiting for our chicken. Alrighty, and after 25 minutes, our chicken should be done. Of course, just make sure that it is nice and tender. So we're just going to remove it from the broth. Here, we're going to turn it off as well. Okay, so we're going to reserve one cup and a half of our broth. And while we wait for our chicken to cool down, we can begin to get our chiles ready. So we're just going to peel and remove the stem and seeds from our chiles. So just remove the stem, peel them. And we're going to transfer four poblanos to our blender cup, as well as for the jalapenos. Okay, and the other four poblano peppers, we're going to cut them into small strips. Cut them in long strips first. And then smaller ones. Once we have our chiles, and now we're going to set them to the side so we can go back to our chicken and begin to shred it. Okay, just begin to shred the chicken. Ready? And once we have our chicken all nice and shredded, we're going to set it to the side with our poblano peppers so we can finish making our sauce. To a blender cup, we're going to add our crema mexicana our piece of onion that we roasted, two garlic cloves, our half of cilantro, chicken bouillon, black pepper, cream cheese, and our chicken broth. Now we're just going to be blending into smooth. Alrighty, and just like that, we have our creamy poblano sauce. So once we have our sauce, we can finish putting everything together. Okay, we're going to grab our pan, add a little bit of oil, set it on medium-high heat, and allow it to heat up. Once hot, we're going to add one onion, cut into strips, and we're going to saute for a couple minutes. Okay, and after a couple minutes, we're going to add our chile poblano along with our corn. Make sure you drain it. Now we're just going to cook it for another two minutes. And after a couple minutes, we're going to add our chicken. Just begin to mix it together. And now we're going to add our sauce. Use a bigger pan. 
Okay, just mix it all together. Ready? And once everything is well mixed together, we're going to allow it to come to a simmer. Ready? And once it comes to a simmer, taste it for salt and see if you want to adjust it. So now we're just going to reduce the heat to the lowest setting and we're going to allow it to continue simmering for about 10 minutes. Meanwhile, we can get our tortillas ready. Okay, to lightly fry our tortillas, we're going to grab our small saucepan. We're going to add a little bit of oil, just enough to cover the tortilla and set it on medium heat. Okay, and once our oil is nice and hot, we're going to lightly fry our tortillas. So just until they begin to blister, just like that. Going to remove it from the oil and repeat the process to the rest of our tortillas. I'm going to be frying 20 of them. Alrighty, and once we have our tortillas ready, we can put our pastel azteca together. Okay, so before we build our pastel azteca, we're going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. Once we have that going on, we're going to grab our baking dish and we're going to begin to layer our tortillas. So just make sure that the whole bottom of your baking dish is nice and covered. Going to add two in the middle. Now we're going to grab our chicken mixture and begin to layer it. Okay, so we're going to sprinkle some of our cheese. Okay, and we repeat the process. So grab your tortillas, layer them on top. Okay, we're going to add our mixture. Okay, and after the second layer, more cheese. Okay, and adding the last layer. And we top it with cheese. Okay, so now we're going to place it in the oven and allow the cheese to melt. Alrighty guys, and after 20 minutes, our pastel azteca is done. Okay guys, so we're going to allow it to sit for five to 10 minutes before we cut into it. Alrighty guys, and after 10 minutes, we can get ready for the fun part. So just cut into it. Okay, so just scoop it out and serve. Alrighty guys, and just like that, we have our super easy and delicious Pastel Azteca. Now we can get ready for the best part. So I am so ready. Let me tell you that this is honestly one of my favorites. I love anything with poblanos and chicken, of course, the cheese, but this is all in one. This is everything you can ask for, all in one. So I hope you give it a try and enjoy it just as much. Cheers and enjoy. And of course you can make it, you know, if you only want two layers, you can make it at two layers, but this right here, so good. Mm. Mm hmm. Honestly, the best. It's so good. Everything's so perfect. You don't need to add anything else. Everything right here in one bite. Mm. Mm hmm. Alrighty, guys, and there you have it on how to make a delicious pastel azteca. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, Please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Share with your friends and family. And if you regret this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.